Northern Cape is where we're going now. The Premier Zamani Saul will deliver his second State of the Province address in Kimberley today. Uh, Ulrich Hendricks is there in Kimberley to give us a report of uh, what we can expect. Ulrich, good morning to you. So residents there saying the, uh, the path was set in the last SOPA and it's now time for action. Give us a preview. What can we expect today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Leanne. Um, so last year, uh, uh, Northern Cape Premier Dr. Zamani Sol, of course, uh, won the hearts of the Northern Cape residents, but also um, re um, residents of South Africa with his, with his first uh, state of the province address. He, of course, said he is tough on corruption. He said that they are doing away with all the frills um, that comes with uh, holding public offers like your blue lights, like uh, new cars, uh, catering, etc. He also spoke about uh, unemployment, uh, especially youth unemployment, which is quite high here in the Northern Cape. Uh, we've got a youth unemployment rate of about 40%. But also um, talking about a state-owned company, a mining company, and a state-owned uh, construction company, looking at um, uh, you know give, dealing a blow uh, to the uh, unemployment rate in this province. But uh, a year later, we are back here uh, at the state of the province address. Of course, the province and the country, of course. Um, suffering a great deal the the two main economic drivers of this province which of course is agriculture and mining of course uh, further depressed than last year of course the agriculture sector going through a drought that's been around for about seven years of course uh, that uh, sector been declared um, a, a, a drought um, disaster area earlier this year, 300 million rand being allocated to the province uh, to mitigate the flood, uh, to mitigate the drought. Of course, that um, is currently um, being done, uh, so it's going through the process, but also the mining sector going through quite a difficult time. Uh, but there is some silver lining in terms of the mining industry, the Denta mine, which is a mine in uh, the Namakuland area. Of course, looking at, at beneficiation um, of of, of the product that they mined there. Of course, that was one of the, the things that uh, Dr. Mazamani so said in his maiden um, state of the province address that they will be looking at. But to talk to us about this a bit more, we've got Terence Williams. He's one of the people who came here today to, to have a, 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 a listen to what the Premier will say and, and what he'll be doing. Uh, Terence, tell us, uh, what do you want the Premier to say? Um, hopefully, as a youth, I would hope the president to actually speak more on how we would change um, the unemployment um, situation going on here in Kimberley. Um, uh, most of us as a youth, we um, actually go into mining to actually try and challenge the situation of of uh, uh, unemployment although um, there's also another sector of, of youth going into small businesses so we actually I, I hope to hear him speak on on that broad spectrum on how he would actually help the youth develop from where we are at the moment um, we the youth is actually lost basically uh, we they deep into drugs and uh, all these other challenges that we are in, mainly un because of unemployment. So uh, that's mainly most of my hopes um, coming to having to hear what the uh, Premier has to say here today. There is now off air, you spoke about your student of, uh, of, of, of uh, to, to basically um, polish um, diamonds, etc. Uh, we've had this conversation in this province about uh, beneficiation of the products that we, uh, that we mine here. Um, do you think enough is being done? Um, I wouldn't actually say um, enough hasn't been done, although I know a lot of work has been uh, put into it. Um, in, there's a lot of students that come from the school that I'm, uh, the, edu uh, the academy that I'm at, at Kija at the moment. Um, they are at the incubator. Um, that's why I said earlier that um, I'm hoping to hear the Premier speak on um, the SMMEs uh, mainly because uh, where, where I am studying at the moment, there's an incubated, uh, incubator uh, section where it's an exit strategy from after you've learned about the, uh, the diamond industry, you can go and then process, go on to starting your business and so on. So mainly there's a lack of um, funding and um, attention to small SMMEs inside of Kimberley alone. So what do you think needs to happen with, uh, with the assistance for, for small, medium and micro enterprises? 
Um, assistance, mainly we're looking for funding. We're looking for um, proper funding, basically funding that wouldn't um, require us to pay it back as we are still um, small businesses coming up. Um, we've been um, going to the NYDA most of the time. So uh, we're hoping to find um, um, problem solved in the funding in, um, um, sector because um, we work working as hard as we can. Most of the people that's, that have small businesses are, are doing it on their own, funding people to fund on their own. So we're hoping to just get funding here. Thank you very much, Terence Williams. Of course, he is one of the youth here. He's unemployed, but is also trying to, 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 to get to a place where he basically can, 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 can get a job or to get a business to, to beneficiate the diamonds, etc., that are being mined here in the Northern Cape. Of course, like I said, uh, eagerly awaiting uh, the state, second state of the province address of uh, the Premier Zamani uh, um, Sul. Of course, the Mani Moon is over. Uh, last year, a political parties were very excited uh, about what he said this year not so much so we'll have to see um, how the reaction is from the political parties and of course from the residents here of the Norway Cape. The end.